thermal conductivity or heat current is a concept that relates to the transfer of heat between a hot or warm reservoir and a cooler reservoir. And it essentially looks at the factors that influence the rate at which heat transfers over time from one place to another. If this shows up on the MCAT, there's a decent chance it will be explained in a passage rather than tested directly. But some exposure to it, I think, is very helpful. The factors that influence thermal conductivity, and the reason that we call it heat current is because it's looking at the transfer of heat per unit of time, much like electrical current is the transfer of charge per unit of time. The factors that influence this are K, which is some sort of thermal allowance constant that we have, and that will be provided to you. It could be an insulation constant or some thing that indicates the degree to which a material allows the transfer of heat from one side to the other. Then you have the surface area that's considered. And so in this system, what we have is a hot reservoir and a cold reservoir. And the heat can only be transferred through here. Everything else is perfectly insulated. So this is what allows for the transfer of heat from this source over to there. And the A here is the cross-sectional area of this slab separating the two reservoirs. The larger that the slab is, it kind of is intuitive that if you had a larger slab, it would allow for more heat to transfer through. And so if you increase the cross-sectional area, that means that more heat can transfer through per unit of time. So you look at K, which is some constant that is a property of the material of the slab, and then the cross-sectional area here. And then what else creates the transfer of heat is the difference or the temperature gradient between the temperature of the hot reservoir and the temperature of the cold reservoir. So if there's a big difference in temperature, then that is going to create a greater transfer of heat per unit of time. The last thing to consider is L, the length over which it has to travel. And the general rule is that if you increase the length over which something has to travel through a slab or through some insulating material, the greater length means that you're going to see less and less heat transfer through per unit of time. We can think of this when we're thinking of insulation in a house or perhaps somebody wearing a blanket when they're out camping. The longer or thicker the insulating medium is, the less likelihood of heat being transferred from the hot reservoir, in the camper's case that's their body temperature, to the cold reservoir which is the outside world. Similarly with a house, the hot reservoir is most likely going to be inside the house and the outside world is cold. And so the thicker or longer you make the insulating medium, the less likely you are to observe heat transfer. And this is something that can come up on the MCAT, usually in a passage, but it's important to understand the factors that can influence the rate at which heat transfers from a hot reservoir to a cold one.